this back here was my brain cancer. Hmm? Isn't it nice? <laughs> the, the, the key phrase is uh, was. Oh, whew. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, having a brain cancer was really, uh, as you can imagine, shocking news for me. I knew nothing about cancer. Uh, and I guess it happens when uh, you are diagnosed with such a thing. And it was like uh, a movie of the, uh, a scene of the cheap movie. Uh, you know, the, you sitting here on the doctor's office, uh, you, him uh, looking at uh, images, uh, shaking his head and looking up and says, you have brain cancer. Not nice. Um, in um, Western cultures, uh, when you have cancer, is uh, as it's as if you disappear in a way. Your life as a complex human being is um, replaced uh, by medical data. Your images, your uh, exams, uh, your uh, uh, lab values, uh, uh, a list of medicines, and everyone changes as well. Uh, you suddenly become a disease on legs. Uh, <laughs> it's, it happens. Um, in a way, um, doctors start speaking a, a language which you don't understand. Uh, they start uh, uh, pointing at uh, if, if they, their fingers uh, onto, onto your body and uh, onto your images. And uh, uh, people start um, uh, changing as well uh, because they start dealing with the disease instead of uh, with a the human being. They say, what did this doctor say? Uh, before even saying hello. Hmm? And in the meanwhile, you're left with the questions to which nobody gives an answer for. Uh, and these are the can I questions. Uh, can I work while I have cancer? Can I study? Can I make love? Can I be creative? And um, you wonder, you wonder <laughs> about a, a whole series of things. You wonder, what have I done to deserve this? Uh, you wonder, um, uh, can I change something in my lifestyle? You wonder, can I do something? Are there, only, uh, are there any other options? And uh, obviously, doctors are the good guys in, uh, in all the scenario uh, because they are very professional and uh, dedicated to, um, to curing you. Um, but they also uh, are very used to having to deal with patients. So um, I, I'd say that they, that they sometimes lose the idea that uh, this is a torture for you and uh, uh, that you are become to literally, you are, uh, did you become literally a patient? A patient means the one who waits. Uh, um, and, um, okay, they, 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 they tend to, uh, you know, it's, things are changing, but classically they tend to um, not engage you in any way, to learning about your condition, uh, to getting also your friends and family uh, engaged. Uh, or changing or showing you ways in which you can change your lifestyle um, to minimize the risks of what you're going through. Uh, there are millions of things that uh, could have been done. But instead, you are forced there uh, to wait hmm? in the hands of uh, a series of uh, uh, very professional strangers. Once I, uh, while I was in the hospital, I uh, asked, a uh, asked for a picture uh, of a printed, uh, a printed out picture of uh, uh, my cancer, and I spoke with it. I said, uh, it, it was really hard to obtain because it's not common practice to ask for a picture of your own cancer. Um, I talked to it and I said, okay, cancer, mm, you are not uh, all there is to me. Hmm? Uh, there's more to me. Uh, a cure, whichever it is, uh, will have to deal uh, with the whole of me. And so, the next day, I left the, um, uh, the hospital against the medical advice. I was determined to change uh, um, my relationship with the cancer, and I was determined to learn more about my cancer um, before doing uh, anything as drastic as a surgery. Um, I'm an artist. 
I use uh, uh, several forms of uh, open source technologies in, uh, and open information in uh, my practice. So my best bet uh, was to, um, uh, was which I, um, the thing that I decided to do, uh, was to get it all out there, get the information out there, and uh, uh, use it uh, so that it could be accessed from anyone. So I created a website, which is called La Cura, uh, on which uh, I put my medical data online. I had to, actually had to hack it, and that's a thing which we can talk about <laughs> in another speech. <laughs> um, and um, I chose the, this word, la cura. Uh, la cura in Italian means the cure. Uh, because um, in many different cultures, uh, the word cure can mean many different things. Uh, in our Western cultures, it means uh, uh, eradicating or reversing a disease. But in different cultures, uh, for example, in for culture from Asia, from, uh, um, uh, from the Mediterranean, uh, from Latin countries, and for, uh, from Africa, it can mean many more things. Of course, I was interested in the opinions of uh, doctors and uh, healthcare providers. But I was also interested in uh, the cure of the artist. Of the, um, of the poet, of the uh, designer, of the, uh, well, who knows, of the musicians. Uh, I was interested in uh, the, uh, the social cure. I was interested in the psychological cure. I was interested in the spiritual cure. I was, I was interested in the emotional cure. I was interested in any form of cure. And, uh, it worked. <laughs> um, the, the, the La Cura website went uh, viral. I received uh, lots of media attention from uh, uh, Italy and from abroad. And uh, I quickly received uh, um, more than 500,000 uh, um, uh, contacts, emails, uh, social networking. Uh, most of them were suggestions on how to cure my cancer, but, most of them, but, but more of them were about uh, how to cure myself as a full, of indivi as a full individual. Um, for example, many uh, thousands of uh, videos, uh, images, uh, pictures, uh, uh, art performances uh, were produced uh, uh, for La Cura. Uh, for example, here we see Francesca Fini in her hard performance. Or uh, as uh, artist Patrick Lichty um, uh, have, um, has done, he produced a 3D sculpture of my tumor uh, and put it on sale on Thingiverse. Now you can have my cancer too. <laughs> hmm? and which is a nice, a nice thing if you think about it, okay? You can share our cancer. And uh, this was going on. Um, scientists, uh, traditional uh, medicine experts, uh, researchers, doctors, all connected with me to give advice. And all this information, uh, with all this information and support, I was able to form a team uh, of uh, several uh, neurosurgeons, uh, traditional doctors, uh, um, uh, oncologists, uh, um, and several hundreds uh, um, uh, of volunteers with whom I was able to discuss um, the, um, uh, the information I was receiving, uh, which, which is very important. And together, we were able to form a strategy for my own cure um, in many languages, in, uh, according to many cultures. And this, the current strategy spans the whole world and thousands of years of human history, which is quite remarkable for me. The follow-up MRIs uh, uh, showed, uh, luckily, no, no, little to growth, uh, little to non-growth of the cancer. Uh, and so I was able to, okay, take my time and choose. I chose uh, uh, the doctor I wanted to work with. I chose the hospital I wanted to stay with. And in the meanwhile, I was supported by thousands of people, none of whom um, um, felt pity with me, uh, felt pity for me. Uh, or um, actually, um, uh, everyone felt uh, like uh, they could uh, take an active role in helping me to get well. And this was uh, the most important part of La Cura. What are the outcomes? 
I'm fine, as you can see, pretty fine. Yeah. <laughs> I have, ex uh, I've had uh, excellent news after the um, surgery. Um, I have a, uh, I've, I've had uh, a very um, low-grade glioma, which is a, a good uh, kind of cancer which doesn't grow a lot. I have completely changed my life uh, and my lifestyle. Everything I did was uh, thoughtfully um, designed to get me engaged uh, uh, up until the very last few minutes of the surgery, which was very intense. Uh, a matrix of the electrodes that has been implanted in my brain, in this side, um, to form, uh, to be able to build a functional map of, uh, of, its, uh, of its functionalities, of uh, uh, what, the, what the brain controls. And we, uh, right before the um, operation, we were able to discuss the, um, the, the map, the functional map of, uh, of my brain with the doctor to understand which risks I was uh, running into. And uh, if there were any, I would uh, want to avoid. Obviously, there were. <laughs> and this openness um, was really fun the, fundament the fundamental part of um, uh, La Cura. Uh, millions of people, uh, um, um, millions of people, thousands of people, I'll tend to, uh, thousands of people um, share their um, stories, their experiences. Uh, uh, doctors got to talk uh, with the people they don't uh, usually consult uh, when uh, um, they, they, they think about cancer, okay? I've, I've, I myself found in a, a continuous state of uh, translation among, among many different languages in which uh, science meets uh, emotion and uh, um, can conventional research meets uh, traditional research. Uh, and um, uh, the most important thing of uh, La Cura was uh, um, to feel as a part of a really engaged and connected society um, whose wellness really uh, depends on the wellness of all of its components. This global performance is uh, my open source cure for cancer, and uh, from what I feel like it, it's a cure for me, but for us all. Thank you.